complete wire chopping line, instructional video, initial process, wire chopping line, this granulator, three fly, two bed knives. This is a rapid granulator. Removable hopper has been modified to flow into this hose which attaches to the blower. You can attach and detach a hose from the blower and the inside the granulator with quick disconnects. And likewise disconnect that from the piping to the cyclone. Cyclones on two vertical support brackets, bolt to the top there, and down to the bottom. Cyclone itself bolts to the feed chute on the shaker table. The blower is powered by a 10 horsepower three phase electric motor. The shaker table is powered by a 1 horsepower 3 phase electric motor, XX to which is behind this door. Both the blower and the shaker tail motor are controlled by this individual control panel. They are marked as also a light switch. It activates the light above the shaker table so you can see the product. The trigger table has adjustable pitch height here, also adjustable depth depending on the size of the wire and the screens. Trigger table attaches to the Grizzly dust collector, vacuum hose attaches here, goes to the dust collector. These are the filters on the dust collector. They have manual arms for cleaning periodically. Shaker table also has a screen. Needs to be removed and cleaned. Behind the screen is the secondary filter. It is a 20 by 20 furnace filter. Available at any hardware store. One wear piece on the shaker table is a screen. Discharge sheet for the ferrous and non-ferrous separators here. We simply attach a series of magnets in this chute to remove the magnetized material. such a manner. In an operation, the blower and shaker table 